Lovely. Another dunce who left his head in the Mune Bear King's belly. Listen, you're going to drop dead if you go without a head. And I'll be the one stuck with cleanup. Come on, let's find something else you can use. A substitute head. What's rattling around in there? It's a head. <laughs> this should do nicely. Hmm, you're all set. Remember those head pots. They may be weird, but they flap around with lots of useful heads. But one little touch, and they'll drop their stash. You know, a new kid on the chopping block like you ought to have a couple of noggins, at least. Can't take any chances. <sighs> See, just like I said. Blast it! What am I doing wrong? Am I not powerful enough? Uh oh, look out! Quick, now, this is extremely important. One false move, and those heads of yours will tumble right off your shoulders. If you don't grab them right away, their magic will fade and. No more head. So remember, if you lose your head, pick it up post haste. Oh, and one other thing. Mune sparkles. <laughs> Here, I'll show you. Voila! These are Mune Sparkles. Collect 100 and you'll be able to magically come back to life, even if you do lose all your heads. Let's keep looking. There, the witch's bloomers. Keep your eyes peeled for Mune Sparkles, if you want to stay alive. Roar! Oh, that Moon Bear King is always angry. Jehoshaphat! Oh, look there! You see that head symbol? Listen, every head has a little bit of meowjik to it. They react to places and objects that resemble them. Oh, why don't you just give it a try? Here, first choose the right head. Now, use the head's meow jig. Anyway, keep an eye out for those head symbols. Anything could happen. Look at that. No wonder they're so skinny. <laughs> oh, what a little darling. Welcome. Please make yourself at home. Go and bring it to me. You'd better follow that fork. The witch doesn't take kindly to long waits. Watch that feisty fork! It's as wicked as the witch. Hey, I warned you! Remember to pick that up quick. No more heads means no more you. Pass through that shimmering gateway to proceed to the back of the kitchen. Now, make no mistake. Kutaro was not alone in his plight. The kitchen was already staffed by unfortunates whom the Moon Bear King had plucked from their beds. These children had been charged with keeping the Fickle King fed, and it was a miserably hopeless task. After all, his appetite was as vast and insatiable as his lust for power. Careful, there's this thing about fire and puppets. <laughs> All those mune sparkles, you don't want to toast yourself grabbing them. <laughs> <laughs> 